Bro's cramping already. Holy oh. crap. Yeah. Alright, let's see something else. Freak. Holy shit. What the fuck, man? Damn, bro, you brought your chest up pretty quick, bro. I think you got a chest now. Ooh. Just grainy and hard as fuck. Better than Sam Sulik? Comment below. <laughs> Better arms, that's for sure. Gosh, damn. You flamed those lats, right? Nah. Just working out, trying to see. Flat chest. Any pose I can mod Matthew in. Hiding these legs to start prep. What's funny is when I hit the side chest here, it's better, but my leg's smaller on the left side, so this is the Instagram side. Yeah, Instagram, <laughs> I feel that. Instagram side, boom, stage side. But honestly, my chest, my upper body is pretty even on top, so yeah. it's something I gotta worry about too much. Damn, shadows work kind of good right here in the half, half natty lighting. Alright, let's go. Half natty lighting with the non natty. Yeah. Let's see this. Add in. You definitely brought your chest up, that's for sure. Yeah. The mighty leg extensions just to just to get a little bit of blood flow and help recover your chest. That's like good. That. Yeah. Recovery or warm ups become more and more important as you go further in your fitness journey, that's yeah, for I mean, sure. That's why my workouts are so long. So I have to take like five work working. Ugh. Warm-up sets before I do a warm-up set. Yeah. I usually do like 10, maybe 15 minutes warm-up, depending, like, especially for legs. Since I'm trying to bring my legs up. Yeah. I really do take like 5 to 10, 10 to 15 minutes just warm it up. Maybe 5 minutes cardio, 10 minutes dynamic stretching, and then warm up the knee, hamstring curls, and then yeah. finally get into workout, which I know that might be excessive, but <laughs> for legs or with any body part that you really want to bring up, and I feel like the warm-up ones helps with um, kind of like getting a good connection to stuff. Oh, 100%. Like so like it just helps you connect your mind and your body and then just like even with that body part. Yeah. You start going in, so. and that's originally how I think I hurt my knee is I just went too heavy too fast and warm up enough. Right. Because you can like when you're warmed up and you're getting a good pump, you know you're kind of where your limit is for oh, 100%. failure and how much weight you can go. Yeah. So. And you can feel it just based on your first couple warm ups. Yeah. Whether it's going to be a heavy day, a little bit more reps, a little more volume. Right. It just depends on the more day. More pump, right. You just kind of vary it. That, this is more for, I'd say, advanced trainees where you're three, four years into lifting. Yeah. Kinda, and even and beyond. So, yeah. For sure.